and joining us now exclusively is hockey goalkeeper PR Shri Jesh, who's been conferred with a prestigious Kale Ratna. Many, many congratulations to you, Shri Jesh. As you are being confirmed with the conferred, I beg your pardon, with thank the you, uh, Kale Ratna. What are your first up thoughts at this point of time? Because from a village in Kerala to a podium in Tokyo, now Kale Ratna. How would you describe your journey? <laughs> Uh, see, it's, 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 it's been a long journey for me. It's almost 21 years I'm playing hockey and, you know, ultimately everyone dream uh, when, they, when they start to uh, play hockey or any sport, they dream about being there in Olympics games. And um, winning a medal in, uh, in hockey um, from a state like Kerala, that is like uh, such a wonderful thing and uh, it's, like, it's like a dream. Not even, it's, it's like a wild dream comes true. And at last, uh, you know, in, in the end of the year, uh, conferring with this Khel uh, uh, Award, that's also specially uh, now renamed as uh, Dhyan Chand Khel uh, Award, uh, that makes this uh, this occasion really special for me because being a hockey player, receiving an award named after a hockey player, hockey legend, yes. uh, a, a, a wizard, uh, that is one of the great things uh, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can feel it now. Since you mentioned it's been such a surreal experience for you, uh, has it sunk in that you're getting this prestigious award? Um, say, I, I think uh, for, for me, uh, it's it's all uh, one thing which, which, which I always uh, focusing for that is like hard work. Every day, uh, every session, you just try to fight with yourself and the rest of things will follow to you. And uh, and uh, th that is what I, I just wanted to share here uh, with, with the youngsters also because uh, that is the most important part for any sports person. Uh, if, you, if you dreamed about uh, achieving something bigger, then other small things will follow to you, you I mean, like follow to you on, the, on, on its way. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a great uh, and great opportunity for me to uh, to showcase the uh, or, or being a model to the uh, Kerala uh, young generations who who would like to uh, pick up hockey uh, and uh, so they they do have a role model now to to start with. And why just hockey? You are an inspiration to the entire nation with what you just said. It's unbelievable that you've achieved so much, <laughs> not just hockey, even beyond the realm of hockey. You know, you are a role model to many people who are listening uh, into you no, right but, now but, in the country. But de definitely... Go on. Uh, you know that uh, from definitely because I mentioned it Kerala because hockey is uh, not that popular in okay, Kerala yes. uh, because we never had any great uh, or rich history uh, about hockey uh, because we, we are much into football, athletics or volleyball because these are all the games which dominated in the village area. So now if you wanted to introduce or if you wanted to popularize one game, you need to have a star, you need to have a role model, you need to have somebody achieve a bigger position in that game. So that is what I'm uh, I'm doing it here now. And definitely, I mean, when you are when you are talking about hockey, that's that comes to the nation. That, that's uh, that is what we want. We want to uh, we want uh, more kids to come to hockey. We we need we need to get more cream cream of the country to the national camps so that in the future Olympics we can change the color of that medal again. That's so interesting to hear. Now you know the hockey team Sri Jesh broke 41 year old 41 year old medal jinx at the Tokyo Olympics and you were the one who played a very crucial part. <coughs> How was the feeling and what was it like while playing the game? Yes. Um, see, uh, uh, after all, uh, it's a team sports, and everyone do have uh, their own uh, role in in that game. Because if you stick your finger, I mean, I like, know uh, palm, uh, uh, the five fingers are different, and they do have a different role. Being a goalkeeper, uh, I, I'm, I mean, definitely everyone know that. Okay, we are doing a thankless job. When when a team with a one zero goal, everyone focusing on the goal scorer. But when when a team lose by one zero, that all focus goes to a goalkeeper. So that's how uh, the things works. But uh, when when definitely all the experience which I gain uh, through my career that helped me to uh, focus more into uh, more into myself and when it, uh, the pressure, pressure situation comes that's helped me to handle it in a proper way so uh, I think uh, winning an Olympics medal it is like a, a great a uh, great feeling because because why I'm saying that is I, I is, it was my third Olympics and uh, previous two was not that great the first one we yeah. we couldn't win any matches in 2012 and 2016 uh, we we qualified for the quarterfinals but still we we couldn't par that hurdle so uh, when when you when you saw that bad face and now when you are holding that medal 
that is totally different experience. I mean, I know Manpreet was there with me during that period, but but, but the rest of the players are from uh, are there from 2016. So. Um, I think being a senior most player, uh, it's a special feeling, and uh, and it, it's it, this is the legacy which we wanted to share to the future uh, generations. Because now, okay, you know that you believe in yourself that okay, in future we can win medals. So uh, if you keep on this rhythm in future, that legacy will continue by our youngsters. Oh yes, absolutely, and you know. Uh Shrijesh, your father is the one who played a very big role in your career. He sold his cow to buy you a hockey kid, yes. hockey kit as a kid. How yes. important would you say is family support for the yes. career of a sports person like you? Uh, family, family play a really crucial roles in your initial stage because that's the time. If being a kid, you are choosing one game. and from there you are working hard to win a medal but until unless if your parents are not allowing you to go there until unless if you are no, if your parents are not funding for that expenditure you will not succeed and you know what uh, over the net you cannot achieve anything so uh, until unless if if your parents are not there till you reach somewhere uh, then your career is nowhere you will not reach anywhere so that's the that's the that's where i admire my parents a lot because uh, being from a farmer a uh, family a uh, financial support was one of the crucial element which i faced in my early stage and uh, and uh, uh, fortunately my father was more supportive and even my mother never uh, you know objected him to do so and uh, and that's why uh, when i when i requested my dad for some money uh, to buy my first uh, goalkeeper recommend he never said no to me he spoke with my coaches and he sent me money and later on when i reached my home that's the time i i, I realized he has uh, he sold sold the cow and uh, that's how he he paid that amount but that's that's gives me as a child a more responsibility a huge responsibility because your your when your parents started to trust you when your parents mm -hmm. uh, you know give you full support uh that gives you some sort of responsibility to take things seriously you know when there there will be difficulty i mean and i faced a lot of difficulties when i joined my first camp it was i mean you know one of that was like language because being from kerala hindi was okay i i learned hindi in my school but i i i'm not used to with speaking it english was not that familiar with me then malayalam was the only language which i was really good with then i i used to speak tamil so uh, i i hated to be there you know uh, because uh, you know you do you are from a different culture you are meeting new people the the food is totally different the dressing culture is totally different so uh, i i i struggled a lot but my parents sacrifice you know uh, this a kind of sacrifice uh, forced me to be there you know that gives me energy to stay there and work harder to achieve something so uh, i think uh, even uh, even for any any players uh, their parents if the parents are helping them then that is going to give that uh, youngster that kids more so responsibility to take up things so parental support does go a very long way is what i'm picking up from you what advice do you have for parents today who are watching they have young kids who probably want to take on to this sport or any other sport for that matter uh, how should they encourage their children because look at your father yes. what he did for you and boy where you got today uh see one thing uh, i want to tell them uh, the, to the parents they like uh, sports is something which useful for future because physical fitness is one thing which more important than anything if you are sending your kids for any professional things if you are sending your kids for uh, any higher educations their life should not uh, i mean you know end up with within a, i mean behind a chair or behind a computer it sh should be like healthy so uh, you just ask them to do sports or make sports as part of their life so at right go on uh, oh can you hear me yeah 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 we can we can i'll give you a second Hello? to just yes yes go on go on yeah. i can hear you i can hear uh, you very clearly go on okay uh <laughs> uh so uh, once you once you uh once you allow your kids to take up a sports give them a freedom because over the net nobody can become champions mm -hmm. and the best part of sports is you start to accept failures because nowadays why kids are committing suicide why kids are getting into alcohol or any other addiction because they are not having any kind of entertainment people are spending most of the time behind the in front of tv they are uh, playing online games they are playing games on computer so instead of that force them to get out play outdoor games so that will help them to 
make or create more communication skills and they they will start to accept failures then they will get to know that uh, you know the idea of uh, team bonding team activities then they will get that uh, sweetness of uh, success so that will help them to success in their any career even if it's education even if it's any because business because there are so many lessons that other. you learn from playing any for, sport for that matter right and that whole uh, team spirit or uh, taking losses as they come your way and enjoying the highs and the wins that come exactly. your way as well i guess those are learnings that you can use in any aspect whether you want to pursue any profession in your life later right exactly it, it, it's just like if you if you can accept failure that is the best thing and if you can accept failure and if you if you if you are capable to analyze why i lost that is the that is the uh, uh, the biggest lesson which i learned from this sports career because if you can analyze yourself then you are in the in in the progression part you are in the progression way so just you just need to you just need to work okay why i failed how i felt i know that okay next time i will not commit that mistake so that is what everyone does even it's in business even it's in their professional life Yes and what is the message you want to give out to youngsters as well who want to play hockey professionally because so many are going to get inspired by looking at you the way you played uh, the way you brought laurels for the country the team spirit that you exuded and finally now you've landed a Khel Ratna award for yourself Uh only one thing dream about that blue jersey you know uh, that that is one, one feeling which i always remember wearing that blue jersey standing on that uh, now it's a blue pitch uh, that blue pitch and listening to our national anthem that's uh, that's feeling you can only get when you are when you are there on that field so dream out that about that jersey work hard each and every day work hard don't don't uh, you know discard yourself uh, by any any small failure or any disappointment thing just keep on working hard trust your progress you know uh, trust your system then one day you can wear the jersey and you know one more thing i want to ask you many people who watch uh, say cricket or hockey or any other games and you've got a lot of armchair uh, commentators over there <coughs> who say uh, you know this one didn't play well and that one didn't play well this guy should have done this and that person should have done that uh, what they do not perhaps realize is the behind the scenes that goes into making a champion what he is today you getting to that level requires so much yeah. sweat and blood that is something television does not show you television shows you that final match you winning the laurels and everything is hunky dory but tell us about the behind the scenes struggles for any sports person uh see i i will tell you uh, my my uh, schedule so that is that will be easier for everyone to understand the first thing is that uh, the the day training so in a week we we almost train for 10 sessions so each session may take 2 uh, 2 hours each so uh, so you can count in a in a in a, a week how, how much time we train so over to that we do have meetings over to that we do have some gym sessions over to that we have our individual training sessions uh, over to that uh, we we do have injuries i mean rehab sessions uh, so uh, in a in a week uh, uh, so in, in a day i, I spend like uh, Six to eight hours just to prepare for hockey. So that's continued for years. So now, after I'm done with this Tokyo thing, now our next target is uh, Paris Olympics. So in between, we are facing uh, pro leagues. In between, we are facing uh, Asian Games, then uh, World Cup. So by the time we reach Olympics, that is not one month training. That is not a uh, one week training. That is entirely four years of hard work, or maybe eight years of hard work, maybe six years of hard work, and every day. uh you know you are you are sacrificing your family is one side you are sacrificing your relationship uh you are sacrificing your friendship you are sacrificing all the good things or good festivals which is happening where everyone is celebrating and you are still training <coughs> so for a sports person uh it's it's dharma or it's mandra it's only to win a match is hard work so uh but but it's it's really sad when when you listen to somebody that okay are yaar uh, they they could have done like this that is what we want that is what we are working for that is what we are working from last one year or five years or six years or 10 years just to make that particular uh excess or particular movement perfectly uh but 
but yes uh, this is really tough and th that is what uh, you know everything happens you need to you need to uh, you know but you know when uh, you when, when you're at that level when you're at that level and when you're playing the olympics yeah. and you know when you've achieved so much brick bats become a part of uh, that entire journey as well so outside of physical fitness even your mental fitness then becomes very important because you should be able to brace those brick bats as well that you're getting case na aise nahi khela aur waise nahi khela but look at you today you've landed with a khel ratna yes so how do you look after uh, see, that mental uh, that, fitness the mental part is uh, so much important uh see experience uh, for me experience make me more stronger than uh, what uh, i mean no what i'm i mean no what i'm today it is like uh, uh the 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 way i came through that taught me a lot of things the failures the success because i see i seen the bottom it is like i mean no didn't qualify in 2008 that was a disaster moment for indian mm. hockey then from there 2012 mm. uh didn't mm. win any matches mm. uh then getting into you know eighth position from there uh now receiving uh, this uh, i mean you know uh, uh, bronze medal so it was it was not a journey of uh, one one or two years it was journey of almost uh, 12 i mean 12 or 13 years so that gives me experience but for the youngsters for the new players it's always important that you need to work really hard i mean you know how hard you working in the physical side that much you need to work on your mental side because mental health is more important than anything else because under pressure if you want to perform well you need to have a strong mind setup do you do some exercises for that do you meditate do you do yoga do you uh, you know something to keep your mind steady because you're playing the olympics you know i want to also tell the viewers it could be the biggest that you could ever play yes. on that platform the entire world is watching you the uh, entire country is banking their their expectations yes. on you as a team on you as a goalkeeper uh, the pressure i want to understand the kind of pressure that you go through and how you keep yourself together at that moment uh say for me uh, i do meditation but not in a big way but okay. uh, small small patches i always does that yeah. and uh, i i started reading as a hobby but uh, that's uh, this become like my meditation before when i started i i, I hardly used to read one or two pages but now now i can finish 100 or 150 pages uh, at a sitting so uh, that is how i think i improve my meditation mm. and focus and um, you know in a pressure situation i can uh, tell you that okay playing in an olympics game is it is like a pressure cooker so you do have you get pressure from all the areas from behind from side from top because uh, <coughs> the you you do you are going to an olympics with a lot of expectations and over to that uh, i mean you know your fans have expectations your association have uh, expectations media focus only individually to you uh, and playing on the field uh, in that situation and uh, you know over to that you you have your own pressure it is like how is your performance is happening are you injury i mean you are injured or not then it is like whether if if you are not performing well then how how you are going to be you i mean you know how it's going to be your future hmm. so lot of things are uh, totally engaging each other and it is there in your mind and you are playing a match so this is like a huge you know you are carrying uh, around 1000 kg on your head and playing a match so it is important for you to focus on now because mm. now is the time where you are living mm. now is mm. the time where you are acting and now is mm. the time uh, which related to your past or future so mm. it's important that try to focus yourself and just play the game the way it is don't think or don't predict about the future consequences it's like are yaar if i win i will celebrate like this mm. way no or if i lose people will start talking like this no just think that okay what can i do mm. now to make this game much better or to win and this game you know so that's, that a that's a very important that's a very important lesson uh, but you know i before i let you go i i want to quickly ask you one last question 41 year old jinx has been broken for 41 years we had a bit of a dry spell as far as the sport is concerned what changed this year do you uh, and what was it different yep. in those 41 years in terms of the support that you got from the state government to the uh, union government uh, the sport ministries uh, give us the time before in the in, in the 41 years what went wrong and what went right this particular year 
Uh, see, uh, the the main drawback happens to Indian hockey is the transformation from grass ground to astroturf. Because lacking of astroturf was main reason for us to get into uh, get into uh, you know international medal tallies. Because uh, it was it was quite easy for the Europeans to uh, you know construct a hockey field, but for us it is too expensive. So a lot of the states, a lot of the schools, a lot of the academies cannot afford that. So that that changed a lot from last 10 or 15 years. Now we do have a lot of astroturf around this world. Uh, and uh, second thing, so infrastructure structure, uh, the provided by the uh, central government, uh, I mean through SAI, Sports Authority of India. And we, we are settled in Bangalore SAI Center and they are always there to support us with a lot of facilities. I mean, we do have uh, two astroturf there. They, they build a new uh, gym for us. Uh, they wow. are giving, uh, you know, uh, rehab sessions. So, uh, hydro sessions are there. So, th that is the facilities what we are getting in Sai, uh, Sai Bangalore Center. And when it comes to Hockey India and, and our title sponsors, Odisha State Government, they yeah. are doing a wonderful job and they are getting a lot of international events to India so that the youngsters can watch uh, hockey matches live. And uh, when you are playing more uh, continuous uh, hockey matches, that's, that will help you to gain more uh, experience and that experience gives you confidence to beat a lot of teams. That is so, very, very uh, so informative and this, interesting. This all thing yeah. synchronized together. Yes, of, of course, of course. All of this, yes. these things uh, coming so, together right uh, there. If you right see, there. I mean... It, yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, that that is that is helped us to uh, to you know transform uh, what we are now. And and uh, definitely I should mention this uh, hockey India League. That's played a crucial role because that's changed the mentality of all Indian players. But because when you when you get an opportunity to play with the young, I mean, you know, the world top players. Mm. And, you know, when you are a youngster, you are playing with one of the top player in, in the world. That gives you more confidence. That's that gives you a chance to learn from the top players. That mm. gives you. Um, what it says uh, to observe a top player how he prepare for a match how he talks in the meetings how how he take initiative how he lead the team uh, how he handle the team when the team lose so that all things will help us to uh, you know develop as a player and second things uh, all yes. you know playing in front of uh, thousands of people yes uh, so hockey india league helped us to uh, get that experience absolutely. as well absolutely so uh, these all the things are uh, the so reason behind what we are now and what we, how we journey got it's a great insight to even understand from where you came to where you are today you've landed with the most prestigious award the khel ratna in this country pr shri jesh once again Big, big congratulations going out to you. All the best for your future tournaments as well. And thank you for taking thank the time you. out and joining us on this broadcast. With that, it's a wrap for me, Shaiti Narula. For further news and updates, don't forget to log on to indiatoday.in or download our app.